Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how to apply the natural powder acrylic nail set. Very easy, not complicated procedure. So without further ado, let's just push back cuticles without using water or any cuticle remover. It will be a dry manicure. And using my cuticle bit, we are going to clean around the side walls and remove all the extra dry skin around my nail plate. using a soft bead to remove some extra acrylic product on my nail plate just slowly i'm using 2000 rpm so it's very slow yeah and if you notice guys it's one direction lang tayo one two hindi natin kailangang pabalik-balik yung bit kailangan one direction one direction to avoid heat and to avoid filing our natural nails And now it's time to fit our nail tips. So, kailangan ang nail tips natin is hindi siya maliit at hindi rin malaki sa ating natural nails. At kailangan ang natural nails natin is well covered ng nail tips both sides. Hindi pwedeng alanganin yung nail tips natin sa ating natural nails at hindi rin pwedeng mas malaki yung nail tips natin sa ating natural nails. Siguraduhin eksakto ang size ng ating natural tips, tips na ikakabit sa ating natural nails. And I'm using brush on nail glue. Mab uh, I'm using Entity product. It's very nice uh, glue. Mabilis lang siyang magdikit and there is no bubbles. At ang pagkabit ng nail tips guys, kailangan straight at hindi ka, walang bubbles under the free edge. So it's time for me to cut my nail tips. So this time I prefer longer nails and almond shape. So since I prefer almond shape this time, I prefer guys to cut both corners para mas mabilis, mas mapadali ang aking shaping mamaya. So I can save time.
So since manipis na nga yung aking nail tips, hindi siya makapal, kunting buffing lang tayo, parallel both sides. And we don't need to shape, perfectly shape our nail tips kasi isi-shape din natin yan mamaya pagkatapos na ng acrylic application. So using my soft beat, i-slightly buff ko lang ang nail tips to remove the shine and to remove a little thickness para magiging more natural ang aking set. So just slightly buff slightly slight slight I really like my e-file to use an e-file guys is very important mapabilis ang trabaho mo and then magiging tama din ang pag uh, prepare ng ating natural nails at ang ating nail tips especially to sa tip blending I really like to use my e-file using my soft beat with 2000 or 3000 rpm so let's apply uh, nail primer or new band sa ating natural nails you don't need to apply a nail primer to the nail tips so now here's the exciting part the powder and the monomer mixture so, the best technique, guys, is keep enough liquid sa inyong brush para makabuild tayo ng smooth, shiny, fluffy pearl. So, kung nakita nyo, ang bead natin is shiny but not runny. So smooth and shiny. Make sure na walang product nag-touch sa ating sidewalls. Keep your cuticle lines clean and free of any acrylic product. Just bounce your brush to the powder. Place it. Press. Press, 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 smooth, smooth, press, 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 and smooth. Feather, feather. You need to slightly brush the surface to have a smooth surface. Always keep enough liquid on your brush press just slightly press the product you are not going to brush hindi ito nail polish ba na ibraba brush natin it is a bead so what you are going to do just press press and smooth press and smooth so, in this finger, dito naman tayo maglagay ng onang bead sa nail tip. Just press, press. Iyon e lang kailangan natin guys. Matuto tayong mag slightly press bead. Don't brush, just press. Pag tama na ang thickness, even na ang inyong distribution sa product, sa on top of the nail sa na natin siya i-smooth press tayo and then smooth press and smooth ayan if you notice hindi ako nagmamadali nag press lang ako and then smooth press and smooth yun ang sanayin natin and then make sure, don't forget, always mag-build lang tayo ng maliit or tamang-tamang pearl. Hindi kailangang malaking pearl ang ibibuild natin. So, sa cuticle lines, 
make sure na ang bead natin is a little wetter. Medyo mabasa. Kasi kusang magsiself level ang bead. Pag tuyo kasi, kahit man maporma mo iyan, mapress mo iyan, but there's a tendency na magli-lift after few days. To, so, to avoid that, make sure na tama ang consistency ng ating liquid and powder. So, kumuha lang ako, nag-build ako ng kukunting bead guys to build an apex. Kailangan natin ng apex. Uh, apex is yung kunting umbok sa gitna to build a structure of the nail at iyan din ang nagbibigay tibay sa ating extension. So, in my index finger, gagawa lang ako ng simple design. So, ang ilalagay ko is itong white acrylic powder.
So, filing technique natin, guys, will be very easy and simple. I-file lang natin both sides of the nail ng straight, 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 parallel. Don't file the sides uh, like round, like, you know, banana shape. No. Kailangan straight both sides. Parallel mo lang palagi. Parallel palagi ang filing sa sides. Both sides parallel regardless sa shape. Kahit man round, almond, or square ang shape mo, kailangan both sides of the nail must be filed straight. Gamit ang aking surface bit with 5,000 RPM ang lakas. Hindi naman siya ganun ka bilis but it is enough para ma-smoothen ang surface. Though my application is thin, uh, kailangan pa rin nating i-file, slightly file ang ating surface para magiging smooth at magiging natural looking ang ating acrylic set. So, Ang advantage guys, pag ang application mo is tamang-tama lang and you build the nail uh, almost perfect na hindi ganun ka bulky, you will not spend a lot of time in filing and you will not spend a lot of time in shaping. Using my baby bit, <laughs> tawag ko dito is baby kasi maliit siya. Uh, using my cuticle bit para linisin ang aking sidewalls to make sure na wala talaga siyang extra product na, tatit na natitira. I just want to make sure na smooth, malinis ang aking sidewalls bago mag-apply ng gel polish on top or natural, normal polish on top. So, just smoothen your sidewalls using my cuticle bits. So, our nails is buffed by our e-file buffer bit very light soft bit just to perfectly smoothen the nail para smooth ang application ng ating gel polish or normal polish on top of our acrylic nails so slightly buff buff buff, buff, buff it smoothen the surface make sure that it is extremely smooth to avoid bubbles, humps on the surface so I just washed my hands guy using a hand soap and I brushed it well to remove dust and extra sticky product around my nails. So this time, this is the right time to do a full manicure. Dito na tayo mag proper cleaning. Push back around the nails. Baka meron pang natitirang mga hang skin, hang nails dyan. That's the time that you can clean the nails. You can use soap, you can wet your nails, you can even use your cuticle remover. 
to clean the nails and cut the dry skin, hang nails, hang, hang skin, bago tayo maglagay ng gel polish. So, I do like to apply primer on top of my acrylic nails, guys, bago ako maglagay ng gel polish to give more adhesion and more shinier. In my index white finger, I will uh, apply a glitters, gel polish glitters. A small, simple applique, uh, simple uh, nail art. So, since wala akong sponge, guys, this time, ang gamit ko is tissue to drain the, the gel para masala lang yung ano, glitters. Kasi glitters lang ang kailangan ko para magkaroon ako ng ombre glitter nails. So we're done. This is our full set acrylic nails using the natural acrylic powder with a touch of ombre glitter gel polish. So thank you guys. Sana makakatulong to sa inyo, lalo na sa mga beginners. So see you next video.